Fitness scoring is a common part of every RFP or quarterly business review process. It's an attempt to bring in some kind of objectivity to our analysis by quantifying different aspects of the relationship. After establishing some criteria for what a good vendor looks like, the vendor is rated on a scale of 1 to 5 for each of those different categories. Rate the vendor on aspects of delivery, how has the vendor performed, experience or relationship, what is it like working with the vendor, what's that experience, growth, how could we use the vendor in the, in the future, and risk, what potential risk could impact the quality of delivery or our need for the service to begin with. The exercise is valuable in a few ways. First of all, by establishing the criteria, the client gets a better understanding of what they're trying to achieve. In scoring the delivery of the service, internal teams can have productive debates about how the vendor is actually performing. Some surprising results may occur. While vendor scoring is an effective way to do discovery on a relationship, it isn't an effective way to make decisions. Why? Because human beings don't make decisions these ways. They make decisions with their subconscious mind, and that subconscious decision boils up into a gut instinct. They feel their way through a decision. They don't think it. We often manipulate the results of these quantitative, logical analyses in order to justify a decision that we've already made at a subconscious level. And I'm not sure that's actually a problem. Overly logical analysis emphasizes these quantitative factors, but underemphasizes experience factors. So if the experience has been bad or if we anticipate the experience will be suboptimal, then we should make the decision based on the experience more so than the quantitative figures about delivery. These quantitative analyses do create an opportunity for future examination. Did the vendor live up to our expectations in each of these subcategories and categories? Did we get the experience that we want? Did we get the delivery we want? Were there risks that we didn't foresee? Was there growth potential that we foresaw and didn't realize? All of those questions are possible when you baseline with certain assumptions in a quantitative way. Vendor rating is an effective way to think about what you want out of a relationship. It isn't an effective way to make decisions about that relationship. It also is effective in measuring the quality of the relationship and the quality of your assumptions and expectations after you've lived through it.